NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Programming furnished by a grant from Joseph's Supermarket. Special thanks to Joseph's. in a cook in a castle. You're probably going, what's he doing with the hats? Well, let me tell you what. I got a request. Now, I, I don't want to go too far, but I deal with a lot of blooming idiots. First, there's, there, there's my good buddy, Doc. He's, he's like, he doesn't even know what pumpkin flowers are. He thinks it's something that you just give to your wife on Valentine's Day. Then there's Mr. Latina. He has trouble with everything. And why? Because he's not on the ball. Then the request comes, no, not from Paul Standish, because we already know he's a blooming idiot, but from none other than Pat Koppel. Now, I have to really work with this guy. You know, he goes, hey, why don't you make cuckoo's flowers? Hey, cuckoo's, because nobody knows what they are. So I have to call them pumpkin flowers because they're really zucchini flowers. Now, think Pat's got it all? He don't got both oars in the water. He just remember he's used to eat, eat them. But he, you know, what am I going to do? So what I'm going to do for this cook in a castle, we're going to go on the wild side. We're going to make, oh, you could call them cuckoo's flowers or pumpkin flowers, anything you'd like. But get on the ball, because guess what? Cook in a castle is straight ahead, and here comes some fantastic zucchini flowers that you're going to love. Now let's take this break and let's get to it. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars, featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Uh, today we're going to make zucchini flowers, sometimes known as cuckoo's flowers, pumpkin flowers. Here are our flowers. Notice that the stems are on. We're going to remove those. By simply pulling the stem out of the center of the flower. We get them prepared for frying with our batter. This program furnished by a grant from Ferone Brothers. Two locations, Newcastle on Mill Street and Wilmington Road in Newcastle. You notice we've removed the stems from our flowers. 
it's important that these flowers are picked early in the morning so that they're open. You don't want to get the flowers closed. It becomes harder to work with them. Now we're going to heat our oil and talk about our batter. A special thank you to Tuscany Square Restaurant, Wilmington and Mitchell Roads, for providing funding for this program. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Consists of milk, two eggs, flour, salt and pepper, baking soda, and a little bit of baking powder, okay, to make them puff up. Now we'll be dipping them in the batter and then putting them into the hot oil. Watch the sizzle. Special thanks to Little Johnny's 2 downtown who provided funding for this program. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. In our skillet, we're going to drop our flowers into the skillet. Listen to the sizzle. The batter coating will turn a nice golden brown. Now you have to be very careful because the, the flowers are delicate. This is truly a summer delicacy enjoyed by the Italian heritage in Newcastle. We're going to turn these once once they get a nice brown. There you go. Notice the nice golden brown color. Make sure your oil is not too hot. That's a that's a beautiful golden brown color. There you go. We'll take them to our plate in a second. As we move them to the platter, it's always important to remember to add your seasoning while they're hot. I like to add a little salt, a little pepper, and there you go. Pumpkin flowers, an Italian delicacy from Newcastle, Pennsylvania, better known as Cougar's Flowers. And you're going to love it. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. And we're back! Gee, now wasn't that spectacular? You're going to be sitting out there and go, Hey, try these. And they're going to go, What's that? They're going to be all fancy spancy, and you go, hey, Cougoots, don't you even know what those are? Yeah, um, you listen, I had to explain it to Koppel. Standy still doesn't know. And Louis Abraham, he was MIA, missing in action. We're going to have to trace him down some. But this is really simple. So when you go out and you plant your zucchini, early in the morning, pick those flowers. Make that batter. 
and when they come out, make sure you season them with some salt and pepper. Ah, oh, with a cup of coffee. They'll go nuts! You and I know, you watch Cooking a Castle. And it's like I said, you're gonna love it. <laughs>